Kim Kardashian is saying that they reached out to the alleged victims, but the victims stayed silent. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about Miss Kimmy Cakes having problems already in her new podcast. Now, a couple months ago, Kim basically announced that she'll be hosting a podcast and that podcast will be um, centered around basically serial killers, crime and all of that. Now, the podcast is titled The System and so far two siblings have basically at um calling out Kim Kardashian because these two siblings have um survived a brutal crime. Now what they claim is that the podcast producers never reached out to them about the project and claim creators behind the podcast are denying it. Now the system basically spoke about the convicted murderer, Kevin Keith, um, who is a man that is believed to be innocent. Now, Quanita Reeves, um, Quanita and Quanita Reeves, who were both shot during the alleged crime when they were just kids, say they, ne they have never given a heads up about the podcast until it's released. So again, Miss Kimmy Cakes is out here telling a lie and basically... You know what? I'm not even going to say it. No. It says that Quinton told the Daily Mail she did not contact us. And she, referring to Kim, not one time. Why aren't they contacting the victims? No. They're also claiming that Keith is guilty of the crime, saying that they saw him do it. So that's what Quinton and Quentin Reeves and Quanita Reeves is saying. Now, the twin basically are currently very upset about this. They're very mad about it. And this goes to show that Kim is very insensitive about people's pain, about people's hurt, and what some folks actually experience, how horrific it is. It just doesn't take a minute or a second for people to get over their trauma and their pain. Now, in a statement to TMZ on behalf of Tenderfoot TV and Big City TV, the production team of the system made multiple attempts to reach out to Reeves' siblings at the time. They decided not to share their story and requested we no longer contact them. So this is very much controversial because Quanita and Quinton is saying that no one from Kim's team contacted them. Kim's team is saying that, yes, we contacted you guys, but you guys refused to speak with us. And you guys also said that you requested that we no longer contact you. So this is very um, already messy. But I think that hmm, <laughs> with Kim Kardashian being associated with this, I believe that there was some breakdown in communication. I'm not sure where that breakdown of communication was, but I'm more likely to believe that it was Kim. Now, this does not mean that Kimmy Cakes is always wrong. No, but I get the sense that what Kim is saying is that in my, in my, in my own personal interpretation, I believe that what Kim and her team is saying is that, you know what? The story is already out there with or without their approval. We're going to talk about it because the world already knows about it. This is what we are. We're not going to basically go into anyone's house, steal their information. It's not as though we're digging up anything. We're just talking about something that has happened that has been released. And because it's not a secret, we can talk about it. That's the impression that I'm getting from Kim and her team. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about Kim. Basically, according to this, this twin saying that, sorry, this sister and brother saying that Kim did not reach out to them. Her production team did not reach out to them. The production team saying they did, but the brother and sister just did not want to be involved. So I want to hear from you guys. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, watch the ads as they surely do help your girl out. Thanks for your time. Stay sweet, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.